What is going on, folks? It is the True Vapor Show number 124. Yes, 124. And I am joined by Matt, Mike, and Mark. So I feel left out. My name doesn't start with an M, so I'm going to go by Mofo today, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, got a very special lineup. But two, want to give out a big congrats to my boy right there, Mr. Mark Fagan. Yes, Mr. Mark Fagan. He hit his 100,000, so congrats to him, brother. Take it away, Mark. Thank you. All right. So I uh, got the SQ Punisher. Woo, finally got it for Mike's website. Got the uh, Iconic sitting on top there. I think this might actually beat out the drop. Thank you. I'm joking. <laughs> uh, the drop on top of the DNA 250, and I got the Smoke mag mod with uh i don't know what sub ohm tank that is on top i think it's from avkin juice cloud chemist or two from cloud chemist and one from nada the only one from nada there you go take it away sexy matthew take it away is your name really matthew or is it matt it's matt, matt. is it matt yeah you can call me anything you want though <laughs> 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 um, I have the uh, V Jet with the TFE 12 prints on top. What else do I have here? Charging up my iJoy X3 right now. Have you guys tried that one yet? Which one? The X3, the, the triple 2700. Oh, no. I've been waiting for that. Mod from iJoy. Um, so I'll be using that soon, but I'm charging it. And then I have the Capo Squonker here, too, and a few other miscellaneous things I might put together. Nice. Where's the built-in batteries? The X3? Yeah. Then how you guys don't have it yet? No. It, I seen photos of it on their website. I was I waiting had for it. For over a week. Holy shit. Um it it's honestly, if you think of like the RX Gen 3, but with 2700 batteries, it's pretty much that. Oh, okay. It's a big yeah. mod. Okay. Yeah, I mean it's pretty <coughs> probably the size of like the original um RX two hundred. Yes, yes. I said nice. Yeah. I guess it's me, right? Yes, that's me. Yes, that's me. All right. Uh, what am I vaping on? I'm vaping on nothing. I got a pack of new ports here, a big <laughs> lighter. <laughs> uh, vaping on this uh, Squonk mod, the uh, Warrior, it's called, with the drop RDA. Uh, in here, I have some uh, Mojito vape, my Mojito. Vaping on that. Uh, Blade of God mechanical mod, iconic RDA. I have inside there some uh, RKOI coil spill. Also vaping on um, the Hot Sig Rig RSQ. Yes, with the Antheon. And in here I have, uh, I think I also have a Mojito inside there too. Yes, I do. Vaping on that. Uh, this new iJoy device, you know, I don't even know the name of it, but it's a single uh, battery device. It takes like the 21700s, 2700s, all that stuff. Captain sub -ohm tank on there. Uh, in here, I have some uh, Sweet Tooth. And uh, another Squonker, another Iconic with the SQ Squonker for signature tips. Blue Pucker inside there from Tony B. That's it. Take it away, ST. Nice. Well, I'm keeping it simple. Uh, the Pulse Squonker with the Iconic. And last but not least, the SQ with the Drop. And in those, I got some Boston Cream. And finally got me some more, ah, some Royal Raspberry Custard. Good stuff right there. Mm -hmm. So, yes, simple. So how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining us, Matt. Uh Got all kind of good stuff going on today with everybody, I guess. So, all good. So, what's been happening with you, man? You talking to me now? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, nothing really. Nothing exciting, dude. Winter wow. time here. Everyone hunkers down, gets fat. Uh, <clears throat> that's about it. No, nah, it's not about it. Talk about your new new. Exactly. Oh, uh, the, the China thing I was telling you guys about? Or no, the Anabizer. You have something yeah. coming out? Oh, yeah. that, that. Okay. Right. <laughs> we were kind of beating around the bush a little bit, but we're ready to get down with it. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, there's a dual coil and a single coil RDA that I have coming out. The dual coil will be first. Dual coil deck's kind of experimental. Um, it's interesting, but I mean, the, the vape quality on it's fantastic. I think some people look at it and be like, oh, it's sweet, and some people might be kind of puzzled. The single coils, very much so. Like the, uh, kind of like the deck with the, for the uh, SMM, but a little bit of a twist to it. Nice. And then there's an SMM XL that I'm working on right now too, but that's it's got a whole bunch of different cool features I'm trying to throw in and make it work. And the engineers are trying to make it work, so we'll see if it happens. Do you know when they're gonna re when they're releasing it? Which one? The the very well the first whichever one the first the one. one is going to be released this month. The oh, dual coil okay. nudge, and then the single coil will probably be next month. Now, I noticed there were some photos on Facebook, which there's no telling where they're at. That one looked more like a single coil. Has that picture been released of that deck already? Or? With Tofo, mine have released both. I mean, it, like, it, it, you know, it's hard to, to uh, communicate with sometimes with the Chinese companies. They don't tell me much. Now, but I've seen them posting a lot about the dual coil deck. Okay, okay. Now, what I've seen could have possibly been the deck's kind of different looking than the typical. So uh, maybe I just looked at it wrong or looked at it too quick. Yeah, I don't know. It's probably the dual coil deck that you saw. It's kind of like a Z looking deck, basically. Yeah. So, how long have you been working on this one? Uh, we started working on that before the SMM even came out. And then kind of tabled it for a while and uh, came back to it, basically changed some things. I got gotcha. you. Uh, weren't really in a huge rush to put it out. So that's kind of, that's why I've, I've been enjoying working with Watofo is, I don't know, they just don't, like, they give us more time. It's, uh, it's nice to be able to. That's so true. Fine tune stuff. <clears throat> so I got a big question for you. Have you had a chance to try the drop yet? Here we go. <laughs> I, I have not. Have you got one yet? Really? Wow. That's kind of Who surprising. Makes the drop again? Huh? Who makes the drop again? Brian? TVC? Oh, yeah. I have a, And Digi Flavor made that with him, right? Correct. Yeah. I have a, they haven't sent me one. Wow. Well, you need to get your hands on one of those. I think you would. Uh, I think you're in for a big disappointment. So just let you know. <laughs> the, uh, I need to. I need to write them and see what's up because they were supposed to send me um, DJ LSB's RDA as well. Uh, Aura, right? Isn't that what? Yep. It was? yep. And that one didn't didn't come either. Wow. So I don't know. Maybe I pissed them off or something. I hate when companies do that. They'll send you certain ones, certain items, but not like. Well, it's like, odd. Like, like uh, I don't think that I have that device that Mike just showed, the iJoy device, but then I have this one that you guys don't have. Like, Isn't that weird? <laughs> it's it's fucking weird. Well, two, I mean, I'm not trying to rehash anything, but there are some things like reviewers at certain numbers, at certain sub counts, should be receiving most of the same stuff, I would think, especially your 100,000 or right at that and up. And Mark started not getting stuff from a certain vendor that was real surprising that they no longer was sending it to him. So it's kind of like, what? It's happened with me quite a bit. Like, <clears throat> Geek Vape hasn't sent me stuff for a while. Um, it just happens on and off. And then out in, like, Kanger did that to me for a couple of years. And then just recently they wrote me and asked if they could start sending me stuff. So I don't know. Yeah. I think, I think you know, like if they send you something and you don't review it or something, maybe they put you on a little. Yeah, I think if you go like at least like or something, two releases of theirs. If you don't review two of their products or something like that, then they figure you know we're not going to bother sending anymore. I think that's what they usually do. Uh, maybe to give their products a bad review, they're like screw this guy, we're not sending him nothing. <laughs> I think that. They just don't like me because I have a little mouth and I'm boring. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, let me ask you this. Have you had a chance to try many of the, uh, the other reviewers products that they've put out like RDAs or anything like that? I've tried, uh, um, I have Grimm's newest one. I got that a little late, but I actually plan on doing a video on that. I got uh, like Tony's. I've d I did a video on his RDA. I haven't done one on the Squonk Box yet. That's another one that came to me late, but I just got it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know who else has something coming out. It seems like there's quite a few folks that have something like, out. Like, uh, let's see, Bogan, his RDA, the what, the Bonzo? You got Mike's RDA, you got. Who else? The dude from Russia? What's Vipers. Vipers MD. Yeah, I did. I, the, his uh, mouth to lung ad. Berserker. Yeah, got that one. Yeah, um, Berserker. Got, uh, does Mike, do you have another new one coming out? Oh, yeah. That's uh, this one here. There it is. The iconic. Bottom, Bottom airflow. Oh, I see. That was, and then uh, Andy Vape. Through Andy Vape again? And then, of course, you got Brian and DJs. They've got their RDAs out. Um, Twisted put his RTA out, the triple. Phil's got – I know you know Phil's got an RTA out, right, Phil and Dimitri? Yeah, I just got that from uh, – um, Have you yeah. tried it yet? I have not tried it yet. It's sitting right here. I haven't built on it yet. The, the cool thing about it is, and the reason why I asked you that question is, <clears throat> I've said this for a long, long time, that it seems like when reviewers put a product out, to me, it's some of the best stuff that's out there, regardless if it's juice, freaking hardware, whatever. It's just because they've got to deal with so many different products over the past couple of years. They know what they want and you know know what they're going after. And a lot of people are on that same level. So it just, I, I, a lot of stuff that's been put out, like I said, regardless of what it is, I've really enjoyed it maybe more than people that are just dedicated to doing that. So, yeah, I don't think there's been a bad reviewer atomizer yet. I don't think so. I haven't tried all of them, but. Well, I mean, they definitely, obviously, reviewers get to try so much stuff. And so. They have their pulse on, or their fingers on the pulse of what's going on. Yeah. And I know what to look for. <laughs> it's great stuff, though, man. Like, there's a, uh, we need like some some new innovations and breakthroughs. I totally agree. Yeah. I totally agree. New, new. Some somebody's got to come up with something crazy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love RDAs. Don't get me wrong. And some of the RDAs that are coming out are really nice, but. There's so goddamn many. Yeah, yeah. Something. I mean, I think squonking's definitely got room for improvement. Obviously, that's and and we'll see a lot of innovations probably that way, especially with the squonk mods. But it's been a while since like we've had something happen that's just been like kind of game changing. Like the sub ohm tank was pretty game changing at the time. I mean, it, it changed because, I mean, at, at the time, if you wanted to vape like that, you had to use an RDA, basically. Um, there have been so, a few things like that. So since last time you've been on here, and I know we've we talked about it before, but there's been a little bit of time between. Has your interest in squonking kind of picked up more with the more and more product that they seem to be pushing towards that, or are you still just kind yeah, of walking more than I, than I was before for sure. Cause that's, that's definitely been, seems like the new thing or it's not a new thing, but it's a thing that's really gained a lot of steam here. It seems like in the past couple of months. So I want the stainless steel mesh thing to happen again. <laughs> but that sub ohm tank from, uh, Freemax. Um, Freemax. That is a pretty good tank. With, they got mesh in there. Those, Did you RDAs, those RDAs that came out, they're kind of eh, but I wish they would just redo mesh again. I love mesh. You got to see this new tank I got. I mean, uh, I'm not sure if it's game changer. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, it might be what Matt is saying about being a game changer. Let me show it to you quickly here. 
Uh, where are you? There you are. I mean, I had a stare at this thing for a little while, and then I realized what I was looking at. I was like, what the hell is this? Uh, this kind of reminds me of... Um, what was those coils again? The ones that came with your first uh, RTA, uh, Matt? Oh, the uh, notch coils? Okay, it kind of reminds me of a notch coil. I'm going to get this out of the way. Right, this is the tank right here. Take off the top. Hmm. Oh, what the hell is that? What? <laughs> that's like fuck. That's my RTA design. Yeah. <laughs> oh, watch this. Do you see this? That is yeah. Fucking wild. You see that? Yeah. That's the coil. That's a heating element, basically, huh? Holy shit. It's got right. Isn't it like the notch coil? Idea. Yeah. I mean, it's got that same kind of look to it, but. Yeah. I mean, but that's that looks like it's like some sort of freaking heating it's, element. It's an RDTA for this coil. So what do you lay cotton on like on oh. top of it or something? Or you don't oh, lay anything? You just kind of the cotton's tip. in it. That's oh, yeah. Is, is it a uh, ceramic? Shit, I haven't messed with it yet. Uh, it looks like there might be a thin layer of cotton, or there's something in there that looks like cotton, but I'm not sure if it is cotton or not. It looks like a cotton disc or something. Yeah, it almost feels like a like a foam of some sort. And I guess the juice absorbs in there and the heating element uh, heats it up. I thing I would I would wonder and I and same with like that mesh RDA that Van Die Vape put out is like it, how are you going to get like direct airflow on all of that? Yeah. That's, and this is basically your fill port is right there. Uh-huh. And you push down with your bottle, so you need like so like a needle nose, like yeah. a unicorn bottle. Press down and fill inside there, and then your top cap. And where does the air air come in at? Right oh, here. Is there? Top, top airflow. That's odd. Like you would think. I, I want to know how that performs because you would think that not enough airflow is going to be hitting that. Yeah, it's a little weird. It's definitely yeah. an interesting idea, though. You basically just kind of tip it in it. So yeah, so I was just sitting there staring at it. I'm like, okay, what do I do with this? What is this? How do I build this? And then I'm like, then I realized what the hell I was looking at. I assume, you, buy, you buy replacement discs for it, I assume? Yeah. Okay. Mike, by chance, do you know how many discs it actually came with? Two. I'm going to have to try and pry one apart. They sent me an extra tank, so I have four altogether of those discs. Oh, so it's a fire? Yeah, Aspire. Yeah, I think they they must be sending me one, too. They wrote me about some new product recently. That's their, their new uh, device and comes with a tank. Interesting. Oh, a photo of that. Huh. Yeah. Hey, by chance, does it give any type of resistance of what that element is? Uh, no. I haven't checked. Does it say it on a box? Uh, two coils, 0.1, and the other one, I guess, is, it says 0.1 to 0.16. Wow, that's pretty crazy. <laughs> that is pretty interesting. I haven't messed around with it yet. Yeah, I'd be interested to know how that performs. <laughs> Ooh, like the like with that mesh RDA, I kind of felt like that was just they were trying to do something different. But what was the advantage of it? And you know, you have basically a heating element that spans the whole area of the deck but your airflow is really only hitting it in certain spots and so i don't i don't know i wasn't crazy about it i'd be interested in knowing how that one performs yeah how many nasty dry hits have you gotten off the uh mesh <laughs> way too many uh, that's never good like flames shot out of that thing mike and brian not not mike mark and brian actually built theirs and we were sitting in a room one night and I think Mark fired his up first and got a, a decent hit or two, and then it was like a big flame shot up out of his. Yeah, like two or three vapes. Like it was like the best vape ever. And then on the third one, it just 
the secret to mesh is uh, not to put your mesh build first completely on the build deck and then pass your cotton through. You only clip one side on, lay your cotton down, but put a lot of cotton because you want that cotton to compress. Mm -hmm. And you compress it down, then you clamp the other side. This way, you're going to have total coverage of your cotton on that coil because if one spot isn't touching the mesh, you're going to be getting dry hits. <clears throat> It just seems as though there's too much risk involved <laughs> with mesh yeah. of trying to achieve a little bit better vape than just going with a, a good coil setup. <laughs> well, that's why I was worried about the Freemax tank, but that thing, I could not dry hit off that tank. That's because they have that cotton so compressed. Is it this way? In there, yeah. It's yeah. making total uh, contact. So, like, what does Freemax say the advantage is for them using the mesh in that? Like, do they give any, like, why it's better? Do they say, oh, clean oh. flavor or something? something yeah, better? the usual suspects, you know, better flavor, longer-lasting coil. So, I mean, I like to see new things that actually, like, add to it. Like, that, that flax paper, I thought that that actually helps the, mm -hmm. the coil heads. It seems like they, it makes them last longer, and uh, you get a pretty nice, clean flavor off of them yeah that... but then there's also new things that come out that i think is just for the sake of being new and different doesn't necessarily give you know just more of a gimmicky type thing to pull the people in to buy it like that new uh that new chip or whatever rda that with the uh tungsten. Oh, with the tungsten chip in it i see that like all over instagram i mean i could just tell it's probably not going to be all that great I can see that old news. That's already been done. The Altus. Yeah, that was way back. That was a couple of years ago now. Yep. Well, there's there's a new one out on the market now that, and it's not near the price tag of what it, the first one was, but it still is like, I don't know about that shit. Yeah. The uh, NC. Go ahead. The NCR RDA. Someone's asking about. I've never. That might be the one. Is that it? I think that might be the name of it. The NCR RDA, the one that we're talking about with that uh, the chip the element. Which most likely is probably tungsten. If I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, that thing's pretty damn crazy. Who makes it? I I don't know who. If anybody out in chat knows, throw it up. I think it's some, just some like unknown Chinese company. I could have mm -hmm. thought it was. What is uh, Ed Gimmett? Have any of y'all had a chance to try that B2K RSA? The one that comes with all the different top caps? RSA. There it is. I'm okay. supposed to have one showing up here shortly, but... I don't know. I haven't seen many people talk about it yet. Yeah, I got it. Those are four different. I thought it was going to come with the frosted one, but I guess they replaced the frosted one with this edition with a stainless steel top. What's the RSA? Uh, yeah. yeah what's, it, what's that stand for? It's an R. It basically, I don't even know why they're calling it that. It's an RDA. Basically, it's an RDA that comes with uh, four top caps. You can use it squonking or you can use it non squonking. So that's why it makes no sense why it's called an R SA. I don't get it. Rebuildable something. Squonking atomizer. But meanwhile, every R RDA has a squonk pin nowadays. So yeah. it kind of makes no sense to call it that. But uh, it's an RDA that comes with four different top caps, comes with uh, eight drip tips, yeah. four beauty rings. <laughs> that is a lot. Eight it's drip tips? Holy shit. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Uh, I, I think uh, when I got this message, I just happened to look it up because I was curious because I'd never heard the name on it before. And uh, like Vaping, Vaping Vic had already thrown a video up and somebody else, and he was like showing, out, showing off everything that it came with. It's like a bunch of stuff for uh, what it is, and supposedly it's it's pretty decent, but I, I don't know. 
Uh, so any questions kicking along? If you got them, put them in caps. So what's the message for Matt? (laughs) Maybe Matt could read it off. (laughs) Oh, there you go. Matt, you got to check your Facebook messenger. He said, Uh, email me, Joshua. (laughs) At gmail.com. I uh, am not good about getting back on Facebook messages. Just, I totally agree. My Facebook message inbox looks its just a fucking mess. It looks like this room behind me. <laughs> <laughs> so you... Uh, I honestly hate Facebook. I stay off as much as possible. I think the only time I ever see you post, and it's very far in between... It's like if something political might be going on, I see you kick a post at real quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just, I don't know. I I got burnt out on Facebook. Like, it, there's so, always so much shit going on. It seems like, you guys ever notice how certain social medias just seem so much friendlier than others? You go to Instagram and it's all fucking roses and... and I love Instagram. Happiness. <laughs> I have not. I haven't gotten trolled like once on Instagram. Yeah. Facebook. God damn, it's like a cesspool. It's fucking drama heaven. It's a yeah. fucking soap opera out there. Yep. Facebook and YouTube. So half the time you go into an adv- advocacy group, there's drama going on in there. It's like fucking everywhere. There's a new feature on YouTube. Well, I don't know if it's new, but I just found it today. They have like your little community tab, and now you can like start chats, post photos, post videos, and it's like a little ch- like a little comment section on your channel. Oh, on YouTube? Yeah, and people can like comment, post photos, post videos, and shit. Polls up and stuff too. Yeah, yeah, I want to start using that. Is that on the new message? Because in the past, it's like you wanted to get a message out to like your your viewers or whatever you'd go to like facebook but obviously mm-hmm. they're not all on your facebook page yep. so it's definitely a good idea for youtube to do that because then you know you're going to reach everybody i have been noticing in like my sub feeds that when you do post those out they'll pop up in there yeah so yeah i've been noticing a few people that i'm sub to are like posting certain things and i was like what the hell's going on with this you can even put like little polls and shit in there like it's more oh. it's more for cell phones. Oh, okay. I think for the app because on a computer, uh, you really yeah. don't see that unless you go on your own community tab. Yeah, can, that's true. Like everybody else's uh, community posts, but you only see it on your cell phone though. Yeah, if you're looking, true. I didn't think about that. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Because on mobile, a lot of times, like you get a. Uh, um, you can get a notification when somebody you're subscribed. Like I got one from Mike the other day when he posted and one from Twisted. So like they're really trying to push that out. But yeah, you don't see it at all on yeah. desktop. All right, question for you, Matt. Uh, Ohm's Law wants to know what your best RTA for 2017 is, and I guess that's not including your own. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I hate questions like that. Don't you guys hate questions like that? Uh-huh. It's that time of the year, though. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm gonna. I always do a best of video at the end of the year, and that's something I'm gonna definitely have to have to think about. I was. I started thinking about it last week, thinking about favorite mods, and the mods were fairly easy this year. I think there's a few that stood out for me, but as far as like subom tanks and RTAs and stuff, that's tough. Let me ask you this, and we've we've talked about this, you know, not too long ago, but. Do you feel like this year that there's a whole lot more better stuff put out than what they've ever done? Have they come along that far to where it's hard to find the things you don't like and stuff? Well, I mean, I think things have gotten more refined for sure. It doesn't, it seems like, and, and that's just like any like industry, you know, you look at cell phones and stuff like that. Like the, you don't see like the big jumps as much anymore, but just kind of like little refinements. Yeah. And so it's, uh, yeah. I mean, I think it's just naturally everything's gotten a little better. There's, 
you know, a, you know, mods are a little bit nicer, a little more refined. Build quality's gotten a little better. The user interfaces have gotten a little bit better. There haven't been any like huge jumps though. Except, I mean, squonking's definitely where I think we've seen the most like improvement as far as the mods, even, you know, more and more cool RDAs that have squonk pins. And I think we're definitely going to start seeing more and more innovations when it comes to squonk, squonk mods. Um, mm -hmm. We'll see more like dual battery. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm not asking for a best of 2017, but now that I've kind of got into squonking somewhat and have collected some, what is a squonking device that you turn to more than any of them that you have right now? I probably, out of mods, I would say I probably use the drone still the most. I know really? That, yeah. Just because it's the dual battery. I got you. Out of RDAs, that's that's tough. I really liked Tony's uh, dual coil. Oh, it was Pulse 24. Mm -hmm. The favorite changes like every couple of weeks. That's the problem. <laughs> I, don't think I, I know. You know, it's like it changes. You'll love one atomizer for a month, like it'll be your favorite, but then next month it'll sit on the shelf and Well, and when you're reviewing you don't really like you you move on to the net it's kind of like having a bunch of flings, you know? You you yep. fuck around with it for a couple weeks and you you have a good time with it and then you have to shelf it. Yep. <laughs> That's perfectly said there. Yeah. Well, Mark's getting hooked up because uh, some of the guys knew that Mark was probably going to hit his 100 this week. So they're taking uh, Mike and Brian, all of them are taking Mark to Disneyland this weekend. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I wish that was wrong. <laughs> yep. So are you going to put out a uh, device, Mark? or what's, what's No, I don't have anything. I wish. No, nothing. It's a, I, 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 hundred, it's a hundred thousand subscriber uh, getaway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Celebration. Yep. They treat Mark right. Uh. <laughs> you, you know the way when uh, the MV, like someone wins a Super Bowl and they ask that question, and what are you doing now? Whatever it is, and they say, I'm going to Disney World. Yep. There you go. Same way when Mark got his hundred thousand subscribers, as a uh, going to Disney World. Going to Disney yep. World, folks. That's are you really going to Disney? Yeah, yep. but we're not, I'm not, we're not going for, like, that purpose. <laughs> <laughs> like, somebody was, like, Phenom, he was going, and then he just asked everyone, like, hey, you guys want to go? And there's a vape expo, too, down there. So one person started to go, like, yeah, I'll go. And then another person said, I'll go. And then now we're all going. Disney's amazing, man. It's, I've never been there. It's a magical place on Earth. Even when you're an adult, it's just really cool. I think I'm more excited about the, the vape expo than I am Disney. I don't yeah. know why. But. I, can, I can give you a heads up on something. It's not going to be hot. Yeah. yeah that's good. Sunday, Sunday, it's going to be a high of 62 there. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So with it being cooler, I don't think the batteries on your scooter are going to get all that warm. So you ought to get a little bit more life out of it in the park. The <laughs> fuck, bro? Mark's sitting there like, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I was reading chat. Someone's, Stupid ass. I was, someone asked me a question. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what was the question? Did you have a question for me? Nope. You, you gotta address me by Mr. Fagan. I don't do the Mark thing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Matt, uh, have you got any plans for uh, Vape Expos coming up? Anything on the books? Um, well, I think we're going to go to the Eng England one again next. We didn't go this last fall, but uh, we're going to go to that one next May. Didn't you oh, go to no. this last one, Mike? Yeah, I'm going too, so we'll be there together. Did you have a good time? Oh, it was fucking, it's awesome. Cool. The Birmingham, that Birmingham convention was... It's nuts. Yeah. You, did they have, like, uh, carnival rides and shit in there this time around? No, but there was a company uh, that was from here. I think it was, was it? I'm not sure if it was Combat Clouds. I'm not sure who it was. There was some company there, and they had, like... Um, where you walk through, they set up this thing. You walk through and they try and scare you. Oh, it's like a haunted house. Yeah. It's like a haunted house style thing, but it was more of like uh, combat soldiers, like zombied out a little bit or something like that. I had that when I was there. It's, it's, is it, was it like Frontline? Is that what they're called? Oh, Frontline. That's it. Yeah. Liquid Company? Yes, Frontline. Yes, that's it. 
Yeah, they, just, they, they go all out at those things. Some of those booths are just were nuts. I mean, the amount of money they put into those is crazy. Yeah. So basically, for me to meet you for the first time, I have to go to another country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had to go to England together. Uh, someone keeps asking, Mike, uh, does a boxer work with 2650 batteries? Uh, no. No, okay. There you go. Unless you have an, a, some sort of adapter you could use and use it in a 2700 boxer. A uh, question for Matt, which I'm not sure if he's going to be able to answer this, but what's your all-day juice? Do you have one? I don't have an all-day, but I mean I have certain flavor profiles I like the best. Like I love jelly flavor profiles. I like like sweet and sour flavor profiles as well. Um, where, oh, I don't have it out here with me. Really um, been digging glass. Not this one. This is like their blueberry cake, but they make like a strawberry gummy one. And it's kind of a sweet and sour gummy candy. Been drinking on that a lot lately. It's quite good. So you into the jam monster at all? Person that has like an ADV for like years, though. I mean, I get sick of it after you know a month or two. Were you into the jam monster thing at all? Yeah, some of those are good. Some of them not as much. Their strawberry one's pretty good. The blueberry yeah. is kind of eh. yeah. I'm not a blueberry person. The strawberry and the grape one was pretty, pretty good, but yeah, I don't, I don't do blueberry. There's a little, I, I like the strawberry, and I've vaped quite a bit of it. It's a little too buttery for me. It's got a little bit of that butter toast thing. There is a brand from England, and I forget what the fuck they're called now, but they, they've made like the best jelly, uh, jam on jam and toast flavor I've ever tried. God, that's gonna bug me now. Have you ever It'll pop in my head. Have you ever tried that one? It's like in a red bottle and it just says it's jelly. It's just called jelly. Yeah, that one's good too. Yeah, that, that one's, one's really good. Um, that one's, yeah, that one's really good. That one, there's no toast in that one. It's just straight up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Mark rant and raved over that one when he got his hands on it. Yeah, it's good. Oh, someone's asking about the, does anyone know or anything about the Kennedy box mod that came, that's coming out on their website? They look pretty interesting. Are those stab wood or what the hell are they? I don't know. I would assume no, so there you go. Nope. The answer would be no, folks. I got one, but I just haven't bothered to use it yet, so I'll get back with you. <laughs> <laughs> Best USA Vape Expo question. Detroit, man. I love fucking Detroit. <laughs> I know yeah. everyone hates Detroit, but I love Detroit. It's the best. No, you, not, not city. You hold on. Oh. <laughs> you love Detroit just because you don't love it because of the expo. You just like the hotel and that and all and the home, and the homeless guy. Yeah. yeah. And that vape shop. They have really nice Uber uh, cars out there too. Yeah, just jam. Peter Wells says Matt was it called Just Jam? Yes, it was just. It's called Just Jam, and then they have Just Jam on toast and Just Jam on scone, and but that's that's the brand I was thinking of. I sorry, gotcha. sorry to butt in there. <laughs> that's the try. Um, as far as U.S. vape expos, it's been a while since I've even been to one. I mean, I think ECP is probably the biggest still, isn't it? What do you guys think? ECC. Uh, is that still the biggest? I don't uh, know. That, that vape probably. showcase is pretty damn big. Yeah, that's yeah. true. The ones, the one in Texas. We got one that's coming up uh, in uh, January. Yep. Uh, in, uh, where is it? In St. Louis? It's called the St. Louis Vape Showcase, but it's right in the southern tip of uh, Illinois. But yeah, basically right there at St. Louis. So we're doing that the 6th and 7th of January. Yep. And then February, I know there's ECC in uh, California. Um, I've seen this question a few times. Matt, were you the first reviewer to come out with a vape product? No, I mean, there were a lot of other reviewers that came out with liquid and stuff like that. As far as hardware, honestly, I don't know. I think, was it Grim? Yeah, I think it was Grim. I think it was the first Yeah. That came out after I did the... Uh, Therion? Yeah, but, well, I don't know. Somebody did before that. 
He might have been the first. Been. Or was it Trippers Faro RDA? Yeah, it might have been Rips. Well, um, Rip, Rip did have a Genesis atomizer like years ago, kinda. Yeah, that's true. And I mean, there have been reviewers that have had their own liquid lines for years now. I think Grim started doing that um, back in like, I don't know, 2012, 2013. Okay. Mark. What? <laughs> what kind of build you got in that, Mark? It's not... What the hell? My bottle's empty. Oh. <laughs> like damn dude you got a defective product there that was the iconic thank you no the, bottle, <laughs> the bottle's empty mm -mm -mm. Ah, hello from greece nice to see you matt and vaping fag and congratulations on your 100k <laughs> thank you was it the theory before the pharaoh yeah but Rip had a, I forgot the name of the Genesis Atomizer, but it came out a long time ago, back when he was still somewhat kind of normal. Yeah, back in the day, like when, when he was first starting out. Yeah. But did it literally have his name on it? I No, he, I think it was him and some other dude designed it. Oh, okay. That was, yeah, that was a long time ago. It was actually made in the U.S. too, I think it was. So Matt holds the title for actually having his name on the product. <laughs> I think so, yeah. I don't know that for sure, but I don't know. We'll go with that then. I don't want to take – I'm not taking, like, responsibility for so many reviewers. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Matt's fault. <clears throat> so you're going to have you, – you were talking about you're going to have an XL to the lineup of the uh, single coil RTA? Yes. Nice. What I'm trying to figure out with the engineers right now is, I don't know how much I should say, but like the the uh, adjustable airflow, it, what I'm trying to do, so this might not happen, should be totally different. It would basically be something where you just twist the mod kind of like juice flow control and it adjusts, or twist the Addy kind of like, you know, the old juice flow control type Addies and it opens and closes the, the airflow. Got but, it. There's some engineering involved, so we'll see. And there's a, the airflow is a little different on it. Obviously, like when I put out the SMM, a lot of people said that they want, wanted more of like a wide open airflow atomizer with some, kind of a similar build deck. So this one's got like you know the same uh, slots you know in the in the posts and stuff, but it's definitely mm -hmm. got quite a bit more air. Nice. Well, I definitely enjoyed the first one you put out. I used it quite a damn bit. I still use it from time to time, but of course there are a lot of things that keep coming. Oh, in. shit. Uh, Matt, you hold the title. Really? Yeah. You came out in May. Uh, I think around May, July was Grim, and August was Rip. There you go. Wow. Um. You're One the top dog. You put an RGA out is that you realize how vastly different, like different people's experiences are with it. Like, so you get some people that love it and think it's amazing. You get some people that are like, Matt, I can't get this thing to stop leaking. You got some people that are like, Matt, I can't get this thing to wick correctly. And so it's, it just shows you how vastly different like with all products it seems like you just get so many different experiences from it especially with tanks like sub ohm tanks or rtas uh i mean you guys ever get that like when you're reviewing like a sub ohm tank some people are like it's great it wicks perfectly other people are like oh the coil heads burnt out in a day all yeah. the time yeah people are like oh it's leaking all over me it's like everything that could happen does happen with each product for these people yep and then wow. if then it's our fault for not knowing that. <laughs> well, I have to say, by far, yours was one of the easiest to build on. I mean, it's a single coil, and at no time to put it in or wick and get the wicking right. I mean, it's all pretty common sense stuff on yours, and nobody could bitch about not having enough glass with it either. So, 
Yeah, your your last one I liked. The one that you did with Wismec, I wasn't really a fan of. That, yeah, a lot of people aren't a fan of that one. Yeah, that one was just not for me. I love it. Some people still tell me they, they I still used your theorem, and then a lot of people tell me to eat shit and die, and it was awful. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I've gotten to eat shit and die comments. Holy shit. I've had to eat shit and die multiple times. <laughs> That's what's scary about, like, probably – that you guys, when you put out products, like all these people come to you yeah, for everything. Like something breaks or if it's shitty or this or that, like everyone's coming to you for it. And it's, well, it's tough because I understand it. Like, and so you got to put yourself in these people's shoes, right? Like, so you buy something, you're having problems with it. You try to reach out to the Chinese company maybe, and you you have no idea how to get a hold of them. And so who do you go to, you know, a reviewer, but you know, I don't stock extra parts and I don't, you know, to, I'm not set up to do customer service. So yeah, I have, well, like I try to help as many people as I can. And I've, I've sent a few people um, for free and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm just, I've, I've had some people that expect me to be like the customer service. <laughs> I have part. an update, a correction. It was actually twisted 420 was the first. Thank you. Oh, which what was his? Uh... The triple by Watofo, that box spot. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. He yep. was in February. Uh... Yeah. Oh, damn. I forgot all about that. Yep. That's the one that, uh. No, oh, never mind. All right. Take it away. So, this guy in Chad's having a heart attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, the Vape Invader, he wants to say that uh, the juice you're talking about is from the UK. It's called Grey Haze Toast. I've never tried Grey Haze Toast. It was uh, just <laughs> jam that we had figured out. But since <laughs> he seemed really excited about it, so now I want to try Grey Haze. <laughs> wow. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Now I've lost thought of, <laughs> thought of what I was going to say. Huh. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. So what else has been going on? Anything beyond the vaping world? I, I still see that you and V are putting up uh, videos on the other channel. I caught your little, uh, well, I guess it was more or less her deal messing around with the new iPhone on you. Um, yeah, not as often as we once were, but we're trying to get it going more so again. Um, we're thinking about doing a podcast next year too. Oh, that'd be awesome. Also been talking to, uh, I've been talking to twisted lately and we've been talking about possibly doing a live podcast, but I don't know yet. We'll see. He's, he's kind of flaky too. So <laughs> I mean, you just know from his name that he's going to be kind of flaky. <laughs> I, love, I love that guy. He's, he's, he always puts me in a good mood when I talk to him. But so that might happen next year as well. We'll see. But I don't want to, I don't know if I want, if it's something where you want to do the podcast, maybe film it and then just put it up on your channel. And then obviously people can download it from a podcast app or whatever. Or if I want to do the podcast live and that, that takes more effort if you want to do it good where like multiple camera angles and shit like that. You got a switcher in front of you and stuff. So I don't know. We'll so see. let me ask, did V kind of completely quit the uh, vaping side of your videos with you or? Still does them once in a while, but the only, I mean, she, the only videos she's really been in for three years now have been like the vlogs. We just don't do them as much as we yeah. do. Does she do the unboxing unboxing stuff. Yeah. Um, but I mean, as far as like hardware goes, she has never been. I got you. She doesn't care. She loves to vape. She vapes as much as I do, but like, you know, she's not the type that, oh, I just saw that there's a V2 of, of a, a better <laughs> Well, I'm certain she's probably still working like crazy too, so. Yeah, she works nights. She basically works like five nights in a row and then gets nine off. So it's good. It's like she, it's 12, five 12 hour shifts in a row. So. She, she's dead by the time that's over with. Then she sleeps probably like 24 hours after she's done with those five days yeah. and tries to get her sleep schedule correct over the nine day period. And then by then it's time to go back to it. She's still doing the ER thing. 
She works in, uh, oh, God. You're asking me too many questions this early. <laughs> what the fuck is the apartment called? It's not ER. It's, uh, med, I think Med Surge is the one she's on now. She's been on a, few, on a few different ones. So basically, like, a lot of, like, people that have maybe extended stays at the hospital, maybe somebody just had surgery, or maybe they, uh, you know, some old person is, you know. I got you. Hold yeah. on, I need to turn on my light. I'm fixing to interrogate you. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it's getting warm over here. <laughs> will Will there ever be a uh, reviewers' Q reunion? <laughs> I don't know. It's a good idea, though. Like a lot of the a lot of the more popular reviewers, they don't really do live stuff that much. It's just quite the. Uh, I I would say like a lot of reviewers aren't necessarily like the most. Uh, organized people yeah. and including myself and <laughs> having to have a uh, appointment every 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 week it's, it's tough i mean i don't know I, I i think like i want to get into more live stuff but like it's very very like if you look at all the hardware out there like it's very freaking complicated and like nothing's completely reliant yet yeah, I'd like to have. I mean, I think it'd be fun to have like you know like three cameras going and like have a camera switcher and stuff like that. And and I might I might try setups like that sometime. I just got like a a few products from Elgato that are for streaming and and whatnot. But well, that, Mark I'm, normally just gets I'm, his kid. Live. I'm not that exciting live, so I, there's a lot of ums and ahs and. <laughs> Yeah, Mark just typically gets his son to stand over him with a different camera, and Mark says, okay, switch it now. So, yeah, he just holds it. We do manual switching. <laughs> Are you still doing some reviews live? Occasionally I do them live, like not as much as I used to anymore. It's just it's too much. Too It's not how I want it to be. You know how you're saying about the switching and all that stuff? Like, I want it to be nice and like glamorous looking, but it never turns out like that. There are some products coming out, but – they're really expensive. Like, have you seen the one from, um, oh, shit. What the fuck is that company called? Black Magic, maybe? Oh, maybe. not Black Magic. What's the company called that uh, you can, like, pay for a subscription and they give you, if, and you can, like, watch TV on your Roku or whatever? This is going to bug me. <clears throat> you guys go ahead and talk and I'll figure this out. <laughs> <clears throat> I think the hardest thing about doing like at least the live reviews, if you're by yourself, you're live, you're trying to concentrate on what you're talking about. But if you got chat scrolling too, you're, you're in a world of shit cause you're trying to read and review. You need help and you need, you need moderators and stuff. Any of you guys got Fios? No, no. That's the really fast one, isn't it? Anyway, they just did a new feature on Fios that if you uh, type in on your remote channel 838, it takes you right to Netflix. Oh, crazy. Oh, yes. Yeah, so they have a dedicated channel now on Fios that's for your Netflix account. Damn. Sling Studio. That's what I was thinking. Sling. Oh. It's the same. You know Sling, the company that made yeah. the boxes to stream? They yeah. made, they're making like a streaming device now that's wireless. And basically, each camera has its own little thing you put, you connect to it. But you can just do your switching, like from an iPad or a phone. But That's it's like nice. it's like fifteen hundred bucks once you get everything you need for it. So that looks that looks sweet. Um, but uh, yeah, you you think like over the next couple of years you'll see just easier solutions where it's just very very simple. Yeah, to get a good looking live setup, it is really expensive. Oh god! Like, I, there's a few YouTubers that kind of that like that's their niche niche thing, you know, like reviewing streaming stuff and whatever. And like, some of them have like hundred thousand dollar streaming studios. It's nuts. Yeah, it's, it is crazy. Those switchers that Black Magic makes are almost ten grand themselves. Yep. They're expensive. And plus, you got—I mean, you got to be like dedicated. You got to like have topics i mean you don't necessarily have to but it 
<laughs> it turns out better if you have topics and shit yeah. to talk about. Pump that much money into it, then you gotta. It's got to be worth it. It's a lot of work. Yep. Yep. Mm. The one thing about doing live stuff is uh, all the mistakes you make and everything. Sometimes could then then turn out to make your video look unprofessional. Yeah. Like, you know, you're fumbling around in a video or whatever. Yeah. Air. You to, like, yeah. you have to be 100 percent prepared and 100 percent know what you're gonna say. And what you're gonna do, and make sure you have everything in front of you, you know, for your video. Yeah, I've watched a few live reviews from people, and you can tell it's like their first or second time. They're fumbling, trying to get the camera, and like, I'm just sitting there laughing. Like it, you know, it's funny the first or second time, but to can continue see somebody do that, like just fuck up every time. It's like, all right, get your. You shit had back. one mark that was fucking a nightmare. Was it the one with the thunderstorm? I think so. Yeah, it was pouring rain out. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's, I think live's great for like stuff like this, and reviews like it, are it's cool. I guess if you maybe you take questions from the audience at the end or something like that, gives them a chance to ask questions about what you just showed. You know, yeah. I'd, what happens I'd, though? I'd be very good at a live review. Yeah. What happens though when you're doing a live review? You got people asking you questions right off the bat while you're doing it. Then they get pissed at you because you don't answer them. Yeah. They don't realize you're fucking doing something. You're reviewing something. You can't just stop what you're doing. Okay, let me answer so and so's question. What's your favorite mod? <laughs> you know? Yeah, definitely. It doesn't even pertain to the video itself. Yeah. And your phone goes off in the background, and then the doorbell rings. It's like fuck. And you get stuck looking at questions the whole time and answering those, and it yeah turns into a shit show. Me and Mark have done a few joint ones in the past live that were pretty cool because, you know, Mark could kind of talk and I'm looking at chat or vice versa. And five, the five of us, me, Mark, Brian, Heavy, and I don't remember. Yeah, that's us. We did a juice review a couple of weeks ago that turned out pretty good with us all on the same screen reviewing the same line of juice. But you do it by yourself, it's... Yeah. I, yeah think I think that's cool. Like, if you, everyone's kind of giving their own opinion at the same time. Yeah. I think it's fun every now and then to give people something a little bit different to watch. Yeah. Like, at one point, I wanted to do, I was just going to do live reviews. That's all I was going to do. And then one, t then I'm like, you know what? No way. This is stupid. <laughs> There's no way. And I know Mike was, he was getting excited about the live thing because he got cameras and shit set up. It, it kind of gets old after. It's not even that I got old. I noticed that after like two or three videos of doing it that way, I realized I got to stop doing this because the quality wasn't good. Mm -hmm. uh, the fumbling around, uh, trying to get stuff to focus. You know, people don't want to sit there and watch that you're trying to focus something, you know? Yeah. So you would see it. People then in the comments would respond, we don't like the live reviews we want. So they like the live shows. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but not the live reviews. Yep. Well, I think a lot of times with reviews, like they just want to, you know, quick and simple or fast forward through stuff if they want to get up close. Well, we've hit that hour mark, folks. So I guess we are going to shut this down. I want to give a big special thanks to Matt for joining us. Thank you for coming on, sir. Yeah, thanks for um, having me. Mark, congratulations on your 100 thou. Thank you. Thank you. I worked very hard behind the scenes to get you there. I appreciate it. Uh, Mike. Find those subs. Okay, I'm done with you now. Mike, <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on your upcoming uh, Iconic. Thank to, you. To hit the ground. Also to you too, Matt. Also to Mark. Mark has got a new device coming out. It does not deal with vaping, but it's coming out. So be prepared for that. It's going to be a smokeless hookah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit yeah i better get out of here we're gonna start talking crazy thanks again everybody for watching uh i believe i think i'm almost 100 percent sure of this uh i'm gonna host mark's show for him on sunday night on my channel because they'll all be in florida so uh be about same time as normal, seven o'clock in the evening, all that good stuff. I don't know if I can provide the as much entertainment as Mark does, but we'll try. 
anyway, we're going to get out of here again. Thanks to the panel for joining me. And we are out of here. So we will see y'all later. Peace. Bye. Bye, folks.